How's it going guys? Now, I wanted to do this topic a couple of days ago when it actually came out, but I just didn't really have the time to do it. But the reason I am doing it after, you know, it's already broken is because this is the thing I'm looking forward to the most, this comic. It's going to answer so many things and it's going to feature the transit crew. If you didn't know or you're new to this channel, I loved the transit crew. I know a lot of people didn't didn't like their maps. Well, I liked them and, and yeah, so they're getting a comic. We already know that, but you can now pre-order issue two of the comic and the image of it, the front cover has been released and it looks amazing. When I first saw it, I'm like, what the fuck? Is this like a fan-made image? And then I realized that is Russman right there. And at first I was like, oh, like that can't be Russman. He looks a little different. And then like, I realized like, no, that is Russman. He's got the brown coat. He's got the white shirt. And I'll get into it in a little bit. I'll read the description first. On the hunt for element 115, the transit crew winds up at the headquarters of Russman's old organization, Broken Arrow. Trapped between a never ending horde of zombies outside and lab grown monstrosities inside, Stillinger, Misty, Malton, and Russman learn that they'll have to work together if they want to make it out alive. So we will be learning about Broken Arrow, so I am absolutely happy with that. It was a thing that we didn't really know anything about in Black Ops 2. And then when uh, Sophia referenced it in Garod Krovi, I was just so happy when she did that. And so to see that they're going to explore it and this issue, the second issue, will pretty much deal with Russman. And like, holy shit, I feel like we're going to find out his first or last name, whatever that is. Of course, more about Broken Arrow and his whole backstory. Now, interestingly, the very first line on the hunt for element 115, that's super odd to me because I thought there was 115 everywhere. I thought the rockets kind of spread it everywhere around the earth when they hit it. And that's what caused all the zombies to rise up. But when I think about it, we never actually saw any 115 in any of the transit crew maps. The Easter egg sign activation in Black Ops 1, some of them was 115, but in Black Ops 2, they're all teddies. I think the best you could argue for is on on Die Rise, when you see the moon, and I don't actually know if you can or not, you may see the five orange dots that you could see on the moon and Doris. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on there or not. But yeah, pretty much there's no 115 in those maps. And so this is really interesting. I'm wondering why they're looking for it and how this relates to the overall quest of the comics, which is helping Richtofen find the Cronorium. But they do go to Broken Arrow. So it does show that they worked with 115 and it says they have lab grown monstrosities in inside. Now, if that's what I think it is, I'm hoping this is the explanation of the denizens or some of the shit that was in transit because if you guys saw my uh, transit has a dark secret like the backstory video, I made a theory on it that it was like a traction that was like trying to be like a 1950s thing but underneath it Broken Arrow were doing experiments like with the denizens and the Avogadro, the electric guy. And so if this confirms it, I will be so very happy. I will be ecstatic. But anyway, we'll move on to the image now, and it could be a stylistic choice, but it looks like some time has passed. Russman's beard has grown longer. Again, that could be a stylistic choice just by the artist. It may not actually been like a lot of time passed, but it's just an interesting new look, and I think it really suits him. And so I'm curious because there's probably going to be four issues where it's like each one on the cover. So we'll get like Malton next, then Stillinger, then Misty, and then the last issue will maybe have all of them on it. But I'm so excited to see their look. But anyway, he's wielding two dual wield pistols, which is very interesting because I'm pretty sure Russman didn't like pistols uh, in the game. He liked explosives uh, and pistols were more Stillinger's weapon of choice. And he seems to be shooting them around really fast. So it could be fully automatic, which may be it's a cap 40 or it could be B23Rs. I'm not too sure. It'll probably just end up being M1911s, of course. <laughs> And that background, the setting looks really interesting. Like the stairs going up it, he's got that big window in the back and that heavily reminds me of Doris so, so much. So it looks like they're gonna give Broken Arrow like that kind of Doris feel, hopefully. That'll be really good. Now, one thing I noticed, and I don't know if it's a trick of the light or something like that, but some of the zombies look like they've got blue eyes. And I think that's mainly from the reflection of the light from the guns he's firing. They've just got a blue glow to it, but then you have that zombie that's half off the page. He's got the yellow eye and we can connect it up with the first image, which is actually really awesome. It means all six covers of the comic are going to go together and I feel like there's going to be a super awesome image, like something I'd want to post 
poster of. Like, I just can't wait. But anyway, yeah, those look like they've got blue eyes, but that one's got yellow. And there's one thing I just noticed that I should have realized before with the first image. They all have yellow eyes. Now, there's only yellow eyes when Maxis takes over. They're always blue when it's Richtofen. And that's just one of the things that kind of makes those transit maps stand out is that the, they're blue-eyed zombies. But these ones are yellow. So this has to be Maxis. And I did majorly think that before, but some people were kind of questioning it. Like when it said Maxi's apocalyptic wasteland, they were thinking, oh, it's when he shot the rockets. Maxi's technically created that. But the yellow eyes, you know, that all but confirms it, I think. You know, if I'm wrong, let me know, guys, because that's the only time it can be yellow eyes if Maxi's won. Unless, of course, they introduce some, like, deus ex event where something happened off screen that caused all the zombies to go yellow eyes. Like, that could be it, of course, but I'm just dealing with in-game evidence right now. Now, it couldn't be before transit and before moon when the eyes were yellow. So yeah, that's about it guys. There's one thing I wanted to talk about and that's the date. It's released December 21, 2016. So that's nearly two months after the first comic is released, which is October 19th. And one thing I was looking at with the dates, I noticed it releases on the third Wednesday of those months. December 21 is the third Wednesday, October 19th is the third Wednesday. So we could be seeing a pattern here, and if it's true, and I'll just look at the calendar now, we could possibly see issue 3B released on February 15th. That's the third Wednesday of the month, and it's two months after, keeping with that pattern. And so, there's six issues, and if there's two months between each one, that's about ten months altogether. And so the last one would be released August 16th, 2017. That's nearly a whole year, which I'm actually happy for because it means we're getting zombies content kind of staggered and released. And so we're not just going to have another dry spell like it was between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. You know, we actually have stuff to do. And pretty much when that comes out and if nothing else has been released after that or if nothing's going to come out, we pretty much only have a year to wait. A year and two, three months till the next Treyarch game. So yeah, guys, you can pre-order both of those right now from the Dark Horse website. I'll probably just be going into my local comic book store and grabbing an issue there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a read through of it. My first time reading through it, and I'm going to have the camera on the pages. So as I'm reading it, I'll go through it with you guys. And I think like that'd be really cool. Like you can have my reactions and I can show you the pictures and stuff. And I think eventually what's going to happen is someone's going to get like really high quality scans of those pages, which will be awesome and we'll be able to dig through them and ah, oh, it's just gonna be such a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching this guys and I'll catch you all later. Cheers!